Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm gonna be talking about these and Boo here is trying to help me film this video just so you guys know. I've tried to get into, go into the quietest room in the house because we're having some work done on our house. So if you hear banging or hammering in the background, that's what that is. So these are Cameo Creations. These were produced between the 1940s and the 1960s. And they are reproductions of actual portraits. Came in a lot of different styles of frames. A lot of times you'll find the same portrait in a different style of frame. And if you turn them over on the back, a lot of them will still have their stickers. This one says um, the Cameo Creation. And this is Maximilene Borzaga by Joseph Styler. And I believe Joseph Styler would have been the person that painted the portrait. These were very collectible back in the day. I do have a pretty good size collection. I wouldn't say it was a large collection. I began collecting these and using them to decorate my personal bathroom. Um, this one has a velvet trim. The frame styles are Rococo on these that I'm showing you. This is Cecile Village, and this was by Vincent Nesbert. So there's a couple of those, and they are reproductions, as I mentioned before, of people, of, I guess, probably from the 1700s and 1800s. When you look at the back of these, you can actually look some of these people up online. So now that I've shown you these two, I'm going to show you the others that I have hanging up in my bathroom. So here I have some more. I have just hung these up vertically. You can see a lot of them had different frames. Mrs. Croker by Sir Thomas Lawrence. This is Lady Sheffield by Thomas Gainsborough. And uh, this one's pretty popular. I've seen a lot of these online. Mary by C.E. Leslie R.A. This one is in a silver frame. Isabella Montgomery by George Romney. Here I have some more that I've hung up vertically. This one's not a cameo creation, but it went with my collection so well that I hung it up. And this one is done on wood. And it says Empire Art Products Company Incorporated, Glendale, New York. Please do not consider uneven finishes and blemishes as imperfections. They're purposely made by our Italian artisans and our authentic characteristics of antique Florentine plaques imitate, imitating 13th century originals made in Italy. Oh, it's kind of like a gilded wood. I had two of these and they were identical and I gave one to a friend of mine. The Duchess of Devonshire by Sir Joshua Reynolds. This is Maria Causeway by John Smart. I have also seen these in, um, some of them have wooden frames, some of them have plastic frames, and I've also seen some with porcelain frames. I don't have one with a por porcelain frame in my collection, but I would like to. Another silver one, and this says Lady Hamilton by George Romney. Most of these gold Rococo style frames are plastic. This one is the Honorary Charlotte Augusta Flower by Vincent Nesbert. Here's some more in my collection, and I have these. I'm using an old plate rack 
to hold up the larger ones. I believe this one is wood. And off over time, this one is quite heavy. And here's another one, same style. The frame is also wood. And it doesn't have a name, it just has the Cameo Creation sticker. Count, Countess Hoshenstein by Vincent Nesbert. And this one is Mrs. Richard Knight by Robertson. Princess Limbaugh by Nicholas Lajarelli. And that's how I have this one hung up. This is another old plate rack. I use it to hold towels. And then these little guys I found at an antique store, I believe. And they're antique automobiles. I felt like these fit in really well with my little cameo creation girls. Here's another picture I found at an antique store. It's of a castle. Um, it's not a cameo creation, but I thought since I was in this room, I would go ahead and show you guys. And this is hung up. I have these. These are old home interior candle holders, but I'm actually have some moss and some artificial greenery in them. And our bathroom window is huge. And I wanted to put something in it to kind of block the view from outside. There's nothing behind us but woods, but this is an old stained glass window. And I got this at my friend Linda's antique booth. A couple more pictures I have hanging up in here. I got this one. This is vintage, probably from the 70s or 80s, and I got this one at a yard sale. This came from a little antique store. I think I paid like $5 for it. It does have a little bit of water damage, but this is um, probably a reprint from Gotti's Americanized Paris Fashions, 1848. You can see all that water damage. Their old home interior picture, and I think I paid like $2 for this at a thrift store. I want to thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to share some of my little treasures with me. I try to upload one to two videos a week as time allows me to. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications on more vid videos about collecting vintage and antique items. I do plan to do jewelry videos. Those will be coming up soon. I've been doing a lot of research because when I do a video, I like to share as much knowledge as I can with the viewer and I like for that knowledge to be accurate. So a lot of my jewelry videos, I make sure that I do a lot of research on those. Once again, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.